in progress. Welcome everyone to this week's Friday wellness webinar. We have a very uh, special meeting today that we're really excited to have you all joining for. Um, and so I'm gonna wait one minute to have our slides get shown there. There we go. Um, so, uh, so excited today to have our fellowship director, Erica Capaluti here with us with some amazing nurse visionaries and leaders out there uh, to talk about our new pilot project, uh, Nurses with BSN or RNs uh, with Health Related Bachelors are now eligible to join our fellowship. So we're gonna be speaking um, with some incredible nurses, talking a little bit about what this means for the profession and um, how we've gotten here. So if you're joining for the first time, the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine is a global interprofessional integrative health association working to transform healthcare, body, mind, spirit, community, and planet. Um, we live stream all of our weekly webinars onto our YouTube, YouTube channel, AI Channel Global, and those are resources that are free to the whole integrative community. So if you're a practitioner, if you're an administrator, a student, a educator, please feel free to take advantage of those uh, well, wellness webinars. Um, so today uh, we are accepting new fellows for our program that is starting right around the corner here in October for cohort 13. And we're super excited um, to hopefully bring some nurses into that program as well. So I'll just uh, present our special guests and then I'll turn the floor over to Erica Capaluti, our fellowship director. Um, first, we have uh, Rowney Prittenden King here. She is the executive director of the Pacific Pearl of La Jolla and Guarneri Integrative Health. She's a founder and president of the <coughs> Integrative Medicine Resources and the Miraglow Foundation um, nonprofit charitable organization um, co-founder. She is a past AIHM board member, one of our founding board members, and she is certified in holistic nursing, hypnotherapy, interior design, and a healing touch practitioner instructor. Um, she's created a healing touch um, Finland, of Finland and teaches biofield healing in Europe, India, and throughout North America. And she received the Trailblazer Award from the Scripps Health Foundation and was honored for her work in Southern India by Project Concern International. So welcome, Rowney. We also have a special guest, Heidi Rogers, here with us today. Heidi is an associate professor at the University of New Mexico College of Nursing, the UNM Sustainability Studies Program, and the UNM College of Population Health. She's the Director of Interprofessional Education for the UNM Health Sciences Center, a current AIHM board member, and she works with the Lancet Countdown on Climate Change and Health, the Alliance of Nurses for Healthy Environments, the Planetary Health Alliance, and the American Holistic Nurses Association. And she's developed experiential content around teamwork, collaboration, ethics, shared decision-making, mindfulness, health and well-being, and equity and inclusion. So welcome, Heidi. And finally, we have Kayla Meyer with us today. She's an associate professor at the University of Portland School of Nursing and Health Innovations. She has extensive community organizing practice, including the collaborative community-driven founding of Community Kitchens of Northwest um, in Seattle, Washington. She, her research interests are student faculty collaboration in undergraduate re research, community-driven participatory action research, community academic relationships, social networks and social support, innovations in nursing education, and the intersection of scholarship, service, and teaching for health and social equity and inclusion inside and outside of academia. So welcome, Kayla. And of course, Erica Capaluti, who is our AIHM Fellowship Director, She's board certified in internal medicine, pulmonary disease, critical care, and integrative medicine. 
She founded and was medical director of the Center for Integrative Health and Healing, now known as the Center for Healing Arts in Avon, Connecticut. She's the recipient of numerous teaching awards from the University of Connecticut Internal Medicine Residency Program, and she brought integrative modalities to the medical ICU and on all inpatient floors as medical director of the respiratory care department at Hartford Hospital. So welcome, Dr. Capaluti. All right, thanks, Tabby. Let me go ahead and share my screen. <clears throat> okay, let's get rid of this. And let's do this. Okay, that look good to everyone? Looks great. All right. Well, thank you all for being here. Good day. And I'm, as Tabby said, also thrilled to be um, in the company of three amazing leaders in the nursing community. Uh, before we get to our panel discussion, I just want to talk a little bit about the fellowship program and in particular about our new pilot project, which we are all very excited to announce here uh, at the Academy. So you saw this timeline a moment ago. Uh, after um, the Academy was launched in 2014, the fellowship was started in 2016. And here we are today about to announce uh, the expansion of our fellowship, if I will. So in 2016, AIHM launched the first truly interprofessional fellowship in integrative health and medicine that was recognized by the American Board of Integrative Medicine. And very generally, the program is a 1,000 hour um, educational uh, program that combines online learning, retreats, and a clinical immersion experience within a two year time frame. The beauty of this fellowship I mean, there, there are many things that are wonderful about it, but it is both interprofessional and global. And on the left-hand side of this slide, you can see some of the professions that have been represented to date, MDs, DOs, chiropractors, nurse practitioners, physical therapists, acupuncturists, dietitians, and the like. And today we get to expand that list even more. On the right-hand side, you can see some of the countries that are represented. Uh, in addition to North America, we have European countries, we have India, China, we have fellows from Brazil and Turkey uh, and others that are not on the list. So it is a truly interprofessional and an international program. And that really lends to the richness of the experience because the fellows get to work through the program with folks from different professions and see, th see things through a different lens and really um, experience what it's like to work on an interprofessional team. And the value in that is not just for them as practitioners, but that then gets translated into the care that they provide to their patients and clients. So now we are very excited to launch this new pilot project wherein we would like to invite nurses with BSNs or registered nurses with bachelor's degrees in a, in a health-related field to join our fellowship program. And importantly as well, uh, we have a very um, limited uh, special price uh, for those that want to join our October cohort. So if you are a nurse with a BSN or an RN with a bachelor's degree in a health related field, we would love to hear from you and have you apply to our program. It has been a really great year for integrative medicine. And I just wanna take a moment to mention the taxonomy, co taxonomy code that was approved for integrative medicine earlier this year. The announcement came out um, around the beginning of April. And for those of you who don't know, a taxonomy code is an administrative code set that identifies provider type and area of specialization. 
And the reason why this is important is not just for credentialing, but also for billing and reimbursement. Our fellowship program, as I mentioned, is recognized by the American Board of Integrative Medicine and also by the Academic Consortium for Integrative Medicine and Health. Now, this is a cartoon depiction of our curriculum content, and you can see that approximately 30% is focused on integrative disease management, which would include things like integrative cardiology, oncology, pain care, women's health, men's health, pediatrics. There's also um, a significant number of courses that cover nutrition, that talk about botanicals and supplements. And then as mentioned earlier, we have a clinical immersion component in the second year of the program and a number of self-study options. But one thing that I wanna highlight here that I think is also very unique to this program and time and time again, is looked on with such gratitude and reverence by our fellows are the self-care modules. And this for many of them uh, is the first time when they really get to take time out to focus on themselves and journal about that and dialogue about that. And as we talk to them and they reflect on their experience, they find that the self-care is just invaluable. We also cover the business of integrative medicine and visionary medicine and spirituality, biofield therapies, traditional med medical systems, and the very important environmental medicine and global health. The program is divided into eight blocks, each 12 weeks long. There's a week in between for folks to catch their breath. There are three retreats and the clinical immersion. We have been updating our curriculum for the past two years with the help of our BIPOC committee because diversity, um, equity, and inclusion are important to uh, us in the fellowship team and to AIHM as a whole. We also offer a mentorship series wherein fellows come from all cohorts and meet with alumni to uh, learn from one another and share resources. We have a very robust alumni association. And while they're fellows, they have uh, a complimentary membership to AIHM. On the left-hand uh, side of the slide, you can see how the blocks are, are broken down uh, with some of the courses in the curriculum. We use Canvas, which is our learning platform. It's very interactive and very user-friendly. There are self-study options that the fellows can em embark upon in their second year. They have ongoing resource resources located in the hub, which is the fellowship community and orientation space. We provide a pacing guide so that they can pace themselves. And in general, we tell folks to anticipate around eight to 10 hours a week uh, doing work related to the fellowship curriculum. It is an asynchronous model and it's designed for busy professionals. They can connect with our expert faculty, many of whom are known internationally, along with fellows and those of us on the AIHM staff. These are a few examples of our retreat schedules wherein fellows have both didactic and experiential uh, sessions. So they'll learn about dietary supplements, about motivational interviewing, and get to experience aspects of traditional Chinese medicine as well. Feedback from the fellows is always just extraordinarily positive and in a word, transformational. It impacts them on a personal level, it impacts them on a prof professional level, both in their immediate uh, practices and local communities, and for some on a much more grand scale. Uh, many of them will start their own integrative practices while they're in the fellowship or soon thereafter. Some will join existing practices. Some will bring this to their uh, private practice or to hospital systems. So we just hear how impactful the fellowship training is for them. And so again, for those nurses who might be interested in joining us, we have limited time pricing. There are going to be significant reductions in the fees associated with applying and also in the tuition. So we really encourage you to apply soon. 
If you do uh, decide to apply and go to our website, which is AIHM.org backslash fellowship, there is a button where you can click apply now. And when you get to this screen, you would use the code PILOT22, which will lower the application uh, fee from $200 to $50. And then you would follow the rest of the um, instructions in the application. So that is it. These are a couple of our cohorts which graduated in recent years. I am going to stop there and turn it over to our amazing panel. And I just want to remind folks that one of the things we want to hear from you about is how this kind of training uh, will impact nurses in the nursing community. So let me go ahead and maybe Heidi, start with you. How's that? No, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And hi, everyone. I'm just so excited and thrilled that the fellowship is opening up to nurses. It's something that we've all been working on for a very long time. And, um, and it's just, it's an exciting time, I think. Um, you know, for me, I've had the opportunity as a nurse and a family nurse practitioner to work in integrative health settings across a spectrum of, of, of outpatient clinics and street medicine clinics um, over my career. And I've, I've found as a nurse and, and then as a nurse practitioner that um, understanding the different frameworks um, that we can work with and being able to reach out and bridge together uh, integrative health teams really help our patients um, uh, quite a bit in, in really in a variety of settings. So um, this, this fellowship is just really cool. And, uh, and, and I really see that nursing, frankly, can be really leading this work for us in medicine and health. And I am thrilled that nurses are just as excited as they are and getting as engaged as they are in this work. Thanks. Thanks, Heidi. Rowney? Okay, so I have so much to say that I don't know where to start and I you have to cut me out. Um, I am so passionate about this this absolutely opportunity for nurses. So I have been in this for um, integrative medicine for the last 30 years. I'm 100 years old. So, you know, I have been in it for a long time. I was first 20 years um, ICU nurse and I really realized how uh, we did all this compassionate care, but we really didn't have time or we didn't have skills um, to do what this additional thing, what really integrative um, nursing would be. And so I started from uh, doing um, energy healing, gut healing, that's, and that got me into holistic uh, nursing and I um, became board certified in that. But I also didn't stop there. Um, I, I actually moved out of the ICU when we did, um, I was at Scripps and did this, um, uh, I heard we were going to do this lifestyle change research with Dean Orney. So I applied job and that, you know, so if you are planning a career move, take a step. It was the biggest, scarier step to do, but it really opened up totally my career path into that, what I have been doing ever since, and I had never regretted. So my passion has been always that nurses have opportunity to get the advanced degree so they are not stuck in a bedside nursing art unless you really love it. So uh, since then I have been in administration created in a creative setting in a hospital center in hospital setting. It's still there, but we also created our own clinic and um, here in La Jolla. So I am practicing in a creative nursing every day even though I am in an administrative position, but I do healing touch hypnosis, I do all kinds of uh, patient interaction. And I, I cannot even tell you how fulfilling it is to be able to see the whole person 
and um, like this morning dealing with someone who is a um, psych patient and that's not my uh, expertise, but I have enough expertise to call 911 when someone is planning to do suicide. So that was one of the things that um, inner creative approaches is so, so uh, different than what we really learn in a nursing school. And um, so this is your uh, um, opportunity to get out of the whatever area, if you are in OR or if you are in a radiology, if you are in a med surge, that it is giving you tools to move on. You don't have to leave the, um, leave the knowledge, what you already know, but you gain more, you expand. It's just like pride in the way you see the um, patient care. And um, also you work with a lot of um, different providers because this is inter, um, um, interprofessional. So we have naturopathic doctors, we have acupuncturists, uh, psychologists, MDs, cardiologists, and also in our center, we see these AIHs and fellows who choose to rotate um, here in our center. So it's really um, unbelievably fulfilling. So I have been with AIHM for a long time because uh, we were involved with um, creating uh, those um, annual conference. So I just want you to look at that there's a conference end of October. So that's one way to get introduction also to this group because it is a tribe. It is this group that you feel like you're in a family. So um, start from there. And also note that now um, with the busy, um, because if you are practicing nurse, it is really hard to go to school. And uh, about 15 years ago, I created um, program for um, National University, and um, it was called Integrative Health. It was master's program. It's um, still there. Now it's online, That so we did pilot. And I realized that it is a lot of work, but it is really worth it because it makes you to study areas that you otherwise would always put it on a sign. So that's my long speech, but I am really passionate. All these people, I love to go to these meetings. And also, you know, um, the another point is, as you can see, I'm from Finland. So um, I always see that what we create here in California, we have to create it internationally. So my passion is that we are really creating the health throughout the world. And Tappy and I, we have been in Geneva and World Health Organization meetings. And it's really uh, unbelievable to be part of this kind of group that is truly international and is looking at the whole person. So now I stop. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Well, so much wisdom to share. Kayla? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I um, I have kind of a different experience. I'm just getting into um, the language of integrative medicine and integrative health, but realizing I've been doing this work for a really long time. I come from a public health nursing background. And so just kind of even going back to my beginnings of nursing and uh, 2007, I was working with a lot of pediatric clients in the PICU um, and taking taking care of clients who, who couldn't walk um, because of weight issues. And so I really started to ask a lot of public health questions in that acute care um, context, which, which led me to a lot of my interest and my involvement uh, in what we now call food as medicine, culinary uh, medicine. Uh, in graduate school. So that's where I got involved in um, looking at what the community was doing around uh, health and wellness and um, addressing some of the social determinants of health, particularly food insecurity and hunger, and uh, got really involved in an organization called Community Kitchen. So it was driven by and for the community. What they were doing at the time, we now call culinary medicine. But back then, it was this kind of fringe thing, <laughs> you know, that um, the public health department didn't really understand, and the um, nursing school didn't quite understand. So I feel like 
um, with all the momentum that's happened with social determinants of health and diversity, equity, inclusion uh, in the last you know, four or five years with the pandemic really spraying it at the time um, is right for um, introducing this new fellowship in integrative medicine for nurses. And there's a strong interest. So my other hat that I wear is I am a nursing instructor at the University of Portland. So I teach in the undergraduate program and have that perspective. And uh, I also teach in our uh, new integrative health and wellness bachelors of science program. And so um, about half of our nursing students minor in our integrative health and wellness program. So it just shows you how much interest there is um, out there by nurses for a program like this and for more depth um, in gaining knowledge in integrative medicine and healing techniques. Uh, so I've had the privilege of being able to take IHW and nursing students out um, in a collaborative setting to public health sites that have traditionally been uh, public health nursing sites. And we were able to offer clients in the community a lot of aromatherapy and arts-based therapies through uh, a collaboration with the integrative health and wellness students and nursing students. And that has been really well received by the community and the community organizations. They uh, want more. They want more, they want more of that holistic side. Uh, we primarily work with a houseless population and it was just uh, a piece that is often missing from the conventional public health and nursing modalities of uh, hygiene, uh, care, and shower trucks. Um, and so they want more. That's, that's the message you know, that, that we got. I feel like this integrative health uh, fellowship program for nurses and our graduates, um, or other nurses who've been doing this work for a while, it'll be an op opportunity to enhance their interprofessional experiences and, and gain a lot more depth um, in integrative medicine and applying a wider spectrum of, of healing options and techniques to practice. And um, I'm, I'm just excited to be here and be a part of this. So thank you. Thanks, Kayla. It's fantastic. It's, you know, three completely different perspectives, but there's, you know, um, there's just this awesome intersection, you know, where we sort of all, all overlap and have, um, you know, really uh, a unified a goal and have, have kind of gotten to this point, you know, through our own, you know, unique journeys. I mean, I know as, um, uh, you know, a pulmonologist intensivist, you know, like Brownie, I spent a lot of years working in the intensive care unit. And in that capacity, it was mostly as, you know, if you will, in, in a, the more conventional uh, space of medicine. But as the director of the integrative department at the hospital, I also tried to bring that into the ICU whenever I could. And, you know, we had nurses that did, you know, biofield healing, and we were able to offer acupuncture as well. And, I know how important it was and how valuable, you know, for me as a practitioner and for my patients to have, um, you know, the opportunity to work with nurses and have them be, a, you know, clearly a part of the care team. And so I could see how having this training could really benefit folks no matter where they are. I mean, if you can bring this to the intensive care unit and you can bring it out to the community and you can bring it out to uh, the, the places, you know, on the, on the globe, um, you know, where it's, it's needed most, then I think, in, you know, there's absolutely value in, in this. And, um, you know, the more people that we can train, I think the, the farther the reach and the more people uh, across the globe who can benefit from that. And you know, we obviously also have an important focus here on, on uh, the earth herself and on our climate and on the environment. And so it's, you know, it's about the people that we serve, but it's also about the planet that we serve. And so really uh, bringing that work out, you know, to the corners, you know, of, of the globe is, is equally important to us. And that's part of the training as well. Um, any other thoughts, uh, Heidi? Yeah, no, I, um, I appreciate that you brought up the planetary health um, work that that the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine is interested in doing and how we're bringing that framework into the fellowship. I really do think um, that 
this is an opportunity to for all of us to participate in what does the healthcare of the future look like? And it looks like all of us practicing together. It looks like us practicing together in the context of human and environmental health. Um, and certainly it it's the what what we're all doing is going to require of us in nursing full participation moving into this work. Um, and, and nursing is beautifully poised to do this. Um, and certainly, uh, you know, I always say as the director of interprofessional education, there are two things that make that make it work when we're trying to bring people together. When we bring people together, they have fun and they want to come together more. And I really think that that's um, one of the side benefits of, of joining the fellowship and, and certainly the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine in my experience so far is that it's really energizing to be working on the same problems, to be caring about the same things together across multiple disciplines and and um, this is the community and the fellowship for that so i'm just i'm just in awe and deep gratitude um to the work that the academy has been doing for so long awesome thanks heidi tabby any any comments from you or reflections yeah, I just um, i'm so excited about this um, opening and ultimately you know i've always just been such an advocate for access, um, access to healthcare, access to education. And I think like Heidi and Rowney both spoke to, you know, how we educate and how we educate each other is completely changing. It, it's changing so rapidly that um, often the, the more formalized systems and institutions can't keep up with how quickly it is changing. And, and I do believe that the future of the health on this planet is going to be tied to us working together, working together completely, you know, interprofessionally and in, in across different um, even fields, right? Not just medicine. When you start, you're starting to see this in healthcare um, and climate, for example, where you've got the planetary health movement that's really crossing over. Um, into multiple areas, not just health, but um, education, the environmental movement, you have all these different folks just starting to realize that we've got to work in concert more um, together. And so, you know, I, as a naturopathic doctor, I have been really blessed and honored to be a part of this team and to watch the development of the fellowship and to see how all of these different professions come together and learn and how really magical that is and how it, it brings a level of learning and training that I certainly was not exposed to as an ND in an ND only program. And, you know, I feel like the one of the, the, the ability to now bring in um, a whole new group of nurses, you know, nurses are just so critical to everything in healthcare and they are really the glue and the and the bridge to patients in a way that no other profession um, fills that role. There, it's a very unique role. And the more nurses we can get trained and really get on board with integrative health, which is really about um, all coming together to help the patient, right? The patient's at the center. Uh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to um, see how this grows, the work that we all do. Great, thanks, Tabby. Any other thoughts, um, Rowney, Kayla? I just wanted to say that um, I'm so pleased when um, AI, uh, AIHM decided to open this um, channel for nurses. And um, because I, um, I remember 2013 when there was a group of different organizations they got together to pull together this AI AIDS, um, what is now known as AI AIDSM. So um, one of the things um, I found out through the grapevines that this meeting was happening. So I said, is there nurses involved? And they said, no. I said, well, I will be there. And because I, you know, if you are not there, 
it will be uh, sidestep and it has it was so uh, unbelievably beautiful to see all these different um, naturopathic doctors, medical doctors, all these people, uh, chiropractors, all these together to looking at how we can do make this healthcare better for all, you know, and uh, bringing new um, tools into our toolbox. And so uh, we have been having some nurses involved, but not that many considering that nursing is the biggest profession in a whole uh, healthcare profession in a worldwide. Without nurses, we would not be, I'm sorry, um, Erica, but we would be dead. You know, so uh, especially now when we saw that during the COVID. So it is really important that you really honor yourself and say, hey, I wanna have advanced uh, degree and you would have a degree um, that you are fellow of um, AIHM. So um, let your uh, friends know that this is an opportunity and you don't have to leave your job. That is really important. You can still stay if you love your um, job, you can stay there, but you can practice and bring um, different flavor to your practice. So, and you can work same time. So you don't have to give up your work. And um, so, I am involved with that um, also from fundraising point of view because when I left um, um, healthcare system script, so I opened um, and started this foundation called Miraclo. So we have been really able to fundraise money and a lot of it is for going to AIHM because I really truly believe, um, believe that if we wanna change the healthcare system it doesn't matter if it is in US or locally or globally, we have to first train providers and nurses are so integral part of that. And um, Debbie and Dr. Guaneri and I, we have been working on, a, I think the press release is going out soon we, on a, another project that is really about the, about the um, global and actually American health of the American people. And that is so aligned with the AIH and um, mission. So um, if you have any questions, you can um, just um, find out more from um, AIHM about this program. But um, all these fellows who come through our center, they are just blown away, um, you know, when they come through the clinical rotation, how much they learn. And they are already practicing, most of them are practicing doctors. So um, they are no longer, we have st other student rotate, medical students are rotating too, but um, the um, fellows, are, they already are licensed professionals. Brownie, I couldn't agree with you and Tabby more. I mean, nurses are the lifeblood of the healthcare system without question. <laughs> um, any other, um, I don't know, Kayla, anybody else? Um, if, uh, if not, I will just recap uh, about the fellowship program. Again, if you're joining us late, AIHM's Interprofessional Fellowship Program, it's a two-year, 1,000-hour online asynchronous experience, and it's interprofessional and it's international. And we are announcing today uh, for the first time, and I will also say this, this is the first and only fellowship to date that is allowing nurses with BSNs and RNs with uh, bachelor's degrees and nurse practitioners into, the, into their programs. So um, this is the only place where you can get this kind of training, uh, this interprofessional integrative training. And our cohort starts in October. We have special pricing uh, for those that join us. Um, the tuition is $15,000 and the holding fee and application fee have also been markedly reduced. So we hope to uh, see lots of applications coming in from, from nurses in the coming days. We would absolutely love to have you be a part of this program. We know that it will make it even a more rich experience for all of those that join us. Um, and. You know, we just look forward to hearing from you. I am so grateful for the, all the women on this call, um, leaders in healthcare, in integrative healthcare. Um, all of you have, you know, 
done so much and serve as inspiration for so many. Um, I will turn it back to you, Tabby, for any closing remarks or other thoughts. But thank you all for being here. Them. Yeah, um, Erica, thank you. And um, I want to just thank each of you, Heidi, Rowney, and Kayla for being here as well. And, you know, I would definitely take Rowney's advice, like take the leap. This is the future is really training together and learning together in a totally different way. And um, we just need we, we need you all here at at in our circle. So um, I really thank you again. Um, and we hope to see you soon. If you're interested, um, reach out uh, about the fellowship and this opportunity. Um, and we're again, inviting nurses with BSNs or RNs uh, who have completed a bachelor degree in a health related field to join our October 22 pilot project. Um, and I'd also like to invite you all, you know, our annual conference is right around the corner. It's in San Diego. It is gonna be such an incredible event. Um, please come and join Meet the Community. Uh, if you wanna learn more, certainly doing it there in person is a, just a great way to jump right in. So I invite you all to be there. It's coming up the October 28th to the 30th at Paradise Point in San Diego, California. And I think that's it for today. So again, thanks each of you for taking time out of your busy days. Um, if you're interested in joining the Academy, we are an integrative health professional community. You can join our membership. You can join us on YouTube or any of the social media channels at AIHM Global. And we hope to see you all soon. So welcome nurses. Yeah, and also self-care. That's yes. what you learn very much. Yes, okay. that's a great point, Rowney. The, the fellowship curriculum, self-care is embedded into every module. So for two years, you really are also um, creating space for your own self, which is so critical to the transformation of our education system around health in general. So thanks for reminding us of that. May you all care for yourselves this weekend and um, into this wonderful month of October. And we will, we will hopefully see you all soon. Okay, bye.